Let's go back to the bridge. I feel stronger. Let's see if I was right about those spectral stains. That's it. I think I can jump the gap. Your bane rings will help. Can you find the place where the stains align? Another road to nowhere. Can we jump this? Spectral stains are out of reach. I've nothing to work with here. So we find another way. Stupid country. When we get back to New Eden Town, you can make a complaint. jump was quite something. Ghosts are quite something. But I feel clumsy. I have no idea what I'm doing. You'll master it. You've mastered everything else. No way through here neither, as far as I can see. I'm on this one. What do you see? Anything useful?
bloody mongrel. What do you see? Anything useful? Swarming spectres. Force them to appear with the right words of power. Reveal your true self. Never learn, do they? I never mind. Do this myself. Change targets. Tormented first. myself. What do you see? Anything useful? Yes. Something's here. There are stains. If they line up, perhaps we can jump. I'm sure we can. Just try to be gentle this time. Trust me. <sighs> yes! Oof. Remind me to close my eyes next time.
Jacob Lind mentioned a hunter's camp. It may be close. Something's there. Something alive. Yes. Who are you, and where did you spring from? I've come from New Eden Town. That's a very long way from here, sir. Who are you? My name is Red McCraith. I work for the selectmen of New Eden Town. I'm a banisher. Didn't you and the other one die in the meeting house? I fell in the water. And the tide took me. I survived. Up to now, anyway. <clears throat> I've never seen a banisher before. I expected more. Could I please continue this conversation with my feet on the ground? Easy now. Stop your jiggling. Hold still, I said. You try holding still when some lassie's shooting at you. In that oh. case, Banisher, you may escape the trap yourself. Wait, what? No, no, come on! Our camp lies downhill. I'll wait for you there. Come back here. Shit! I don't suppose you can help me, can you? That was entertaining. Good to see you smile. Wait. Something's there. Something alive. No. Too soft. Get in its face. Never mind. I'll do this myself. Piss off! Born again, huh? Signs of life ahead.
place is empty so long it's rotting. Have another insight. Get the hell out of there! Get out of there! This must be the camp the rope lady talked about. Doesn't look like much from here. Who was she anyway? Some species of huntress. She took no liking to you. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger. did good against those bone walkers. You did good. Strange to see the dead from this side. They're both oddly familiar and a thousand times more ghastly. Fortifications. Grim face is not a good sign. So rest and restock, then onwards to New Eden Town. Good day, madam. And a good day to you too, sir. I've not seen your face before. Where did you spring from then? That, madam, is a long story. I'm Red McCraith. I'm the Banisher. Edith Keane. Miss Keane, if you prefer. There, we're no longer strangers. Though the times remain strange indeed. Not bad, eh? Oh, I don't doubt we'll prevail, but right now we're tired and hungry. Are you out here alone? In the New World, I mean. No family back in England? 
there's no husband, if that's what you're asking, and I don't want one neither. I've a plot to farm and a brother to feed, and that's enough. I mean, look around you. How could I possibly want more than all of this? Why should I want silk when I have all this shit? You're a man alone in the world. You're not bad looking, but you don't look rich. Know what you should do. Find yourself a rich man and marry him. Ha! What's new? I'm sorry, sir. Too busy to talk. God will bless this place, but he needs us to do the work. You understand? Yeah, of course. I must go. Take care, sir. With God's help, we shall all see better days. You made it. Good day to you. I'm Red McCraith. The Banisher? How did you get here? With difficulty, I must admit. Aye. Only them as can handle a weapon dare brave the woods. The rest of us blockheads are stuck here in camp, waiting to be fed. Daniel Keane, by the by. Any kin to Edith? Aye. We're twins. Not that we're alike. She likes her stories, likes to hear herself talk. She likes a little drama, does Edith. Mind you, lately there's enough of it about. I was wondering, what brought you to the new world? Why leave home for the unknown? Like so many, we came looking for a better life. <laughs> a better life indeed. So, Daniel, what's new? Sorry to turn you away, Mr. McCraith, but I'm behind on me chores. Even the poor farmer must do his bit, eh? Goodbye for now, Daniel. Aye. Try not to die in the meanwhile.
climbed down from your tree then, have you? Aye, with no help from you. What's your name, lad? Beloved Scudder, if you must know it. I see the bridge is up, may I pass? Well, seeing as the bridge is up, and further, as it'll not be coming down for the likes of you, I'd say no. You may not pass. The likes of me? What mean you? Look, if it were up to me, I'd lower the bridge and send you out to meet the beast, and that'd be the end of you. But it's not up to me, is it? The beast, eh? Best you talk to Kate, Banisher. For you'll not get more from me. How are things going? One nosy Scotsman the fewer, and I'd like it a sight better. I'd bid you good day, but you seem to have chosen otherwise. Good luck to you, Scudder. Luck my arse. I doubt you'll find it there. But have fun looking. You're new. Good day to you too. Red McCraith, madam. At your service. You're a long way from Scotland. Lost, are you? I am but a travelling banisher, just passing through. A banisher, is it? I tend the living in the Lord's name and leave the dead to him. You do well to do the same. Do you not believe in ghosts? I believe in heaven and hell. I believe God has a plan for the Earth between. I believe in helping others. Even charlatans. Charming though they may be. I didn't catch your name. Doctor? You'll not let the governor hear you call me a doctor. Mistress will do. Mistress Evelyn Fitcher. May I ask, Mistress Fitcher, how you became a doctor? I'm no doctor, and you must stop calling me that. 
My father was a doctor. I took an interest in his work. He encouraged this. God, he said, will work through any hands willing to be of service. And besides, he needed the help. Arthritis, you see. My father was unusual as a doctor, for his patients tended not to die. Folk trusted him, and though they knew me as a midwife, they trusted me too. When he died, his patients became my patients. And you? Whose footsteps did you follow in becoming a banisher? A dear friend. To him I'll be forever grateful for. Through him I met the love of my life. I'm so tempted to appear to her right now. So tempted. Let us talk of something else. The world about us, for example. The world about us is the new Smith sisters' purview. I'm content to worry only about the patient in front of me. I should go. The Lord will guide you, Banisher, if you let him. So you want a map? Do you wish to sail the seas, or perhaps to know which way is Boston? Or do you wish to travel west and claim more land that is not yours? I just want to walk in the woods without getting lost. I will teach you to draw your map. So, mark the camp as your starting point. Trace the path along it. Note each landmark. By journey's end, you have a map. But beware, you must know where is north. The sun rises in the east, journeys south, and sets in the west. See? We ain't seen the sun in a long time, Mistress Jane. Then, my friend, you shall need a compass too. You can pay me for that later, when you're back from your walk in the woods. Who might you be? Credence Scudder, sir. At your service, sir. Scudder? Are you brother to beloved Scudder? Oh, no, nothing like that. He's my cousin. And who are you, your lordship? I'm the banisher, Red McCraith. Well, I welcome your civility, you may call me Red. A banisher? Have you come to save us from the beast? The beast? Uh, maybe. I'm not entirely clear on that whole situation just yet. The beast? The monster in the woods? Everyone knows about the beast. You should talk to Kate. Maybe she doesn't want you to know about the beast. Many fled New Eden because of the curse. Why did you stay? Me? Oh, I don't know. I stayed because Cousin Beloved said so, I suppose. I always do what Beloved says. Things go better for me. He's sweet and lucky to have someone to take care of him. You're a man of courage. It was brave of you to stay. Oh, I, I don't know too much about courage. And them monsters scare me dumb, they surely do. When things are bad, best stick close to them you know, don't you think? How are things going around here, Credence? I uh, wouldn't know much, sir. I just do what I'm told. You should talk to the new Smiths. They're in charge around here. A good day to you, Mr. Scudder. God grant you the same, sir. I don't know you. Red McCraith, here by Kate Newsmith's invitation. A pleasure. Ah, he who swung from the tree. News travels fast. Thank you. What's your name? You may call me Jane. You're the first true local I've met. Where are the others? Here there is no local tribe. Oh. Why's that? The Albanaki left these lands many generations ago. They believe the ground cursed, bringing bad luck upon all who walked it. Ah, so you're not from around here either? No. And yet I'm less of a foreigner than any of you. 
Tell me, how are things going in camp? We left New Eden Town to escape the curse. Now we're trapped here. Kate and Thickskin work hard, but game is scarce, and hope is scarcer. I'll leave you then. Good day. Red McRaith, sir. Your friendly visiting banisher. I met your companion in New Eden Town. Since then, sadly, things have not improved, right? In hard times and harder places, a man needs help. May I interest you in my broad range of useful and reasonably priced commodities? What's the word around here? What's on your mind? Uh, you'll get no gossip from me, sir. At least not for free. I admit, I didn't expect to find a store out here. Whatever people go, it seems commerce follows. Things are bad, but as long as there's business to be done, all is not lost. You brought all these goods with you. You carry them on your back. With my weak heart? Of course not. I left New Eden with a horse and cart. After we ate the horse, I employed my fellow travelers as porters. You paid people to carry your goods? Uh, my fortune is in my wares, and my heart and back lack the strength to carry them. Well. I hope the horse was tasty. Look about you. Folk here come through hell for... this. My provisions make their lives just that little bit less awful. And all at reasonable prices. And on a personal note, I find that even the worst of times are made a little better by a bulging purse. Show me your wares. You'll find what you need, I'm sure. Bid you a good day.
Good day to you, Mr. McRaith, your lordship, sir. Oh, there, once more, Pings. A good day to you, Mr. Scudder. God grant you the same, sir.
I wish a word with you. requires a key. So, you found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye. Well, thanks to you. I had to know you could look out for yourself. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. I'm Kate Newsmith. As far as you're concerned, I'm in charge round here. Newsmith? Anything to thick skin? Aye. We're sisters. Me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed. Thick skin will return from the hunt soon enough. Sorry for your loss, by the by. Why might you tell me to leave? He who don't pitch in, pitches out. We'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute. Hungry? Child, you have no idea. All right, I'll stay a while. I have certain skills, if they may be of use. Our hearts are low. Nightmares plague our sleep. Do what needs doing, help who needs helping. Well, give me some names. Prudence Hick, a widow like so many. She cooks. Lately she's cooked shite. He who puts the food aright is a hero indeed. How fares New Eden Town? I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. There's not to go back to. We may be all that's left. New Eden Town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. Some of our band were homesick. We heard them screaming in the woods. They didn't come back. Something wicked prowls. Folk dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. Some think the beast got them. Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt. Dread. She puts a brave face on it, but the truth is in her eyes. I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects to Widow Hake and see what's the bother. If you can't find Prudence, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. His already meagre skills have lately declined. Talk to Jane. Talk to Prudence. Check the forge. Talk to anyone who needs help, which is probably everyone. Right. Got it? One empty cabin remains. A tree fell on it. But you may have what's left. Welcome to the Dark Woods. I must ask you about the camp. Ask? Where's your sister? Out. Making the rounds. Hunting if she finds game. One new smith stays, while the other new smith goes. She goes out alone? She's thrice the hunter anyone else is here. We'd only slow her down, she says. Have you been here long? Huh. <laughs> Not one of us knows for sure. Time here flies for some. For others it stands still. There's no night, so counting days is difficult. What would Thick Skin say? <laughs> She'd say, about a month. She'd be lying. We both counted days, but the numbers didn't tally. I gave up. The nightmare twists the perception of the passage of time. These folk have not escaped the curse. Who about the place needs help, do you think? Something's not right at the forge. You could start there.
in your forays into the woods. Have you seen many bone walkers? What the hell's a bone walker? Corpses possessed by malignant spirits. The dead walking. You'd know if you'd seen one. God spare us. Have you? Of course not. Standard question. I have to ask it. Bone walkers seem drawn to us, but not them. Is it you? Is it me? We both? Can I ask you, what do you know about the nightmare? I have bad dreams, aye. The worst kind. We all do. A nightmare is what we banishers call the creature in the meeting house. It's a breed of ghost. A bad one. Aren't they all? Town was doomed. My sister knew it. After... Well, after your mishap, it was time for us to go. Your bad dreams... Care to share? Might be the hunger. Might be the fear. But we all seem to dream the same dream. A beast. A wolf, but not a wolf. Larger, stranger. It howls and hunts from the shadows. Intriguing indeed. But still, just a dream. Is it? Thick skin apart. Those who leave don't come back. Some blame the beast. We stay close to camp now. Tell me about this beast. Though we've heard it howl, none have seen it. We've heard screaming too, and those who've travelled on have not returned alive. We hope against hope that they've found their way to Boston, as we must, if we're not to starve. But our dreams say they did not. There's really no way out. We can live here. On the edge of starvation, keeping our cheer as best we can. Or we can die in the woods, prey to a drooling beast. We choose to live. I'll take my leave of you for now. Rest. You'll need it for my sister's return. I'll send for you. She seems to like me. Let's find your cabin and see how much. I've slept in worse. And it smells better than Jacob Lynn's lean to. Poor lad. I wonder where he'll go.
Yeah. No, we won't freeze. I won't freeze. <laughs>